Welcome to the daily vlog and sadly this is Jules' last night and I am sad. Stravetti. Wow, don't be sad, sad darling. Don't be sad. I'm coming back. That means hello. Wow. And what's hi? Drasti. Very is good. So I hope um, the correction on our uh, past um, miss demeanours has been rectified there. <laughs> and we're also going to, we also said blagadaria wrong. It should have been. Blagadaria. Blagadaria. Well, we'll work on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. What have you done today, Jules? Uh, not half as much as you. I've had another relaxing day in a way. I was out in the DIY shop before I even got up and put a whole kitchen together. And I um, washed my knickers. <laughs> <laughs> so didn't bring enough pairs. And potted around and done a bit of research about where I'm going for the next two days before I have to catch the plane home. Where are you going? Um, I am going south of here for a few hours into the, I've forgotten the name of it, Nashishki Gorge, around that area. Anyway. Wow, that's going to be gorgeous. Specifically, but hopefully going to have a lovely bit of nature and I'll see another bit of Bulgaria, which would be lovely. And I hacked down more plants and carried on finding where this secret concrete path was going because it was quite intriguing did you walk down that path i walked and i just thought wow it goes into this little circle it's and quite intriguing it's isn't like it? a secret circle it's a weird area isn't yeah. it so we'll have to get to the bottom of that yeah. soon yeah and this path's quite intriguing but it, it seems like it comes to the foundations of possibly a mud brick house on a rose land. And then, but it's not, obviously the house isn't there anymore. But there's all these sort of mounds of earth. And anyway, got, that's as far as we got with that one. And then I went down to the Danube, down this uh, mile long uh, mud road, which I've been very scared to go down. Prior to when well, I got halfway last time and got a bit worried I'd get stuck in the mud. Anyway, it all dried up, got down there, and it was absolutely beautiful. Um, there was a couple of guys fishing and this amazing iron structure, like a lookout tower and a bit of old industrial crane and hooks and things, and had a little paddle, wow. saw an egret and possibly a common. And a big boat on one eye. I was a bit too scared to go swimming, but I was quite tempted. I think it might be warm enough in a few weeks. Yeah, a bit of a strong current, but it's doable, I reckon. Especially in the wake of the wake of the big boat. Yeah, be careful. A bit, bit dangerous there, but yeah, yeah, otherwise all good, really. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. What have you been doing? Well, we saw a little baby, possibly scorpion, in the kitchen, but they're very small. You wouldn't wouldn't even feel feel it. No. And um, we so Jules helped me put the hold one at the end of this while I was putting the screws in. So we now have a new kitchen woohoo surface. So that's great. So that's pretty much what I've done today. And we went for dinner with Chen, who mm. does an awesome pizza. Good, and wicked pizza. You tried the lo local moonshine. How do you think? Not too bad considering the warnings I'd had about how awful it was. It was actually. Pleasant. Yeah, you would say that was 60%. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was all right. So anyway, it's a contra o'clock. So uh, see you later. Cheers. Bye. And uh, bye from Jules. What's goodbye? What's goodbye, Jules? In Bulgarian. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>